Jang, one of four Coastal Carolina players with two first half fouls. Josh Cameron. So UNC Asheville and Coastal Carolina will leave this building five and two. Western Africa. Uh, and Jang looks like he had a real good pregame meal. There's Cameron, Cameron again. This guy will always come back to the right hand. And, and Curtis had him play perfectly. This is Josh Cameron playing the backcourt with Siobhan Wiggins. Cameron hits. Coastal looking to get closer. Cameron wide open, rising fire for three. Yeah. Five point advantage for the Shauna Clears. Cameron off the glass. It's 20 for 21 coming into this game tonight. What a move by Josh Cameron. With one of his assistants right now, Todd Abernathy, before the game, as we see a steal here by Cameron. Wiggins with the left hand lays it in, so the defense. On his shot and footwork in the gym to the new and unusual, like working out in a sand volleyball court two days a week, jumping, trying to split through and around cones and cutting left. And we'll kick out the extra pass. Cameron cradles, scoops it in. Beautiful. Eight. By Coastal, but a different type of pressure. 2-2-1. Two, two, That's a three. Stop Wisconsin. Wisconsin's got an answer and then some. Off the steal, here's Wiggins on the bounce. Beautiful play. We saw them in the tournament yesterday, the day before. You know, bunnies at the rim, they're not finishing today. They're converting most of their shots. Cameron splits the screen, the scoop, and the scoop. It was collected by Jagan. See if Cameron can get going offensively. He's the leading three-point shooter. This time he penetrates inside and a fadeaway. Nice move. Time left. It's been a long time since these teams didn't score in the 60s at least. Here's Cameron ties it. That jump hook over Kaminsky. I know the guys are short, but it seems like they would try to keep forcing that issue just to see what happens. Cameron with a nice pass. And that That's the break zone. Oh, nice backdoor pass, and it's broken up. Recovered by Wiggins. Cameron for three. Whoa. The ball's moving and bodies are moving. It's been the way they've attacked in the second half. Look at this move. <laughs> John Ranger with the hook time by Jordan Granger. Coastal was passing it. You notice on the bench there, Mike Jan, Mike Jones popped up, waving yeah. his arms in the air. He was an extra defender. Up high for Shang. You're attempting 25 threes a game, Campbell, so you must stay close, you must stay connected to the shooters. With Gillis having the kind of night that he has had, only two points for the Big South first teamer. Stolen by Cameron, took it from Summers and lays it in. Eighth time this year. He's got 11 leading the way for Campbell. Cameron for Wilson for three. Outside to Wiggins, a transfer from Mount St. Mary's. Seven to shoot. Josh Cameron, the spin move and the finish. Cameron inside. Up and under for Jim. Got to be a weapon.
open for you. Cameron, 26 feet. St. Cyr. The pump fake. We'll work it inside out. Cameron for three. Down and go. First half is the sixth tie of the second half. Cameron, the pull up for three. And Cliff Ellis wants Ole Miss to rely on three. Right now, they're shooting it well, but they've been scouted well enough to know that this is an Ole Miss team that can get hot for a while, but they can go really. That is point guard extraordinaire play right there. That shot came from under. That's a rebound. Yep. Make it 20. Cameron, the shake and bake. Somehow keeps his balance, and the layup is good. Shot clock at five. Cameron, out of these sneaky. Such a nice stroke can shoot the three ball well to just be shooting 41 percent from the free throw line. Cameron. Right now, that I, I think the key to the game right now is Winthrop is turning Coastal over more, even though Coastal's got the higher percentage. Brandon Vega got beat and oh, shot. Six attempts before missing on that one. That's a three for on this championship game. Can they continue to do it in the second half? Cameron leading the charge. And another big basket right on Kim. But this time he's off and rebounded by Wiggins. Cameron. Cameron fires the three. Yes. yes. Goodness. That's he was 24% coming in. And they need Cameron to play well. Coastal lost Anthony Raza. Kier Greenwood, right. two really, really five, and, and no one has really been able to step up and take that scoring load ever since they lost Gielo 12. No one has asserted themselves as a scorer. In fact, they've won their last two meetings here in Myrtle Beach in the regular season, but lost here in the championship just one year ago. And Cameron baseline. He now has four. In junior college. Yeah. Uh, was that the school in Idaho? Yes. Southern yeah. Idaho. Very yeah. good. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Ellis and Cameron. Five to shoot. Cameron an open look. Baseline. like a turnover because it's a long rebound here comes the shot to close right out. Cameron yeah, working off the Curtis screen dribbling into a lot of traffic. I don't know how he got loose through all those bodies but on by Curtis. Two point lead as Coastal's on a little mini run. Cameron again hits the accelerator. Soft bank shot. Yes. Yeah. Got... Back in in a very hostile environment here at Auburn Arena. Steal for Cameron and it's an easy layup. They say Campbell is one of the toughest teams to prepare for because of their unique style. And it's the, it's the offense and it's the defense. Not a lot of teams play a matchup, and the offense is very unique. Cameron showing some of that versatility. He scored 24.7 at Connor State. A team, and I know you're familiar, they play the National Junior College Tournament in Hutchinson. It's a sports arena. I've broadcast a lot of games over the years from there. We've seen great life by Coastal Carolina. Tristan Curtis, a sophomore out of the Bahamas, has played large here the first couple minutes. Sets the wide screen for Cameron. A little mismatch. Cameron gets Weefy in the air and banks it in. That's, that's, what some... that's what Radford does. Making that perimeter catch a difficult one. Cameron from the elbow circles it down. Seven points for Moody. Long three by Cameron, and he finds the... That's what you do. You're teaching him how to become an adult, how to be a man. Basketball is just a part of that learning process. What a move. Bounce. Can't throw up a three for 18 and expect to beat him. There's Cameron. Three three. Oh. And one. 
fouled him instead. Hit him on the The one point lead to three. Three and a half to go in the first. Cameron, quick move, blows past Brown and makes him pay. Eagles ice cold from the floor. Nearly seven minutes since her last basket. Cameron already with ten. Make it twelve. Difference in the in the body movement of Coastal Carolina. Cameron from deep. <laughs> I love Slide. And a steal. Cameron. The finish. Getting his shot. Five on the shot clock. Coastal got to go to work. Cameron. Open lot. Now you can't give it. Players have not scored in this one. We approach a couple and a half minutes to go in first half, and that jumper goes down for three. Finally on the board.